So if we have zippity doodad into live stream, great news. Um, hello, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Mage the Ascension. For those of you who don't know what the heck that is, it's all right because neither do we. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to get everybody to introduce themselves very, very quickly so that we can move in and hopefully get some grip as to what is going on. Uh, everybody here has character sheets that uh, that are hopefully ready to go. And anyway, so let's uh, let's start off. Uh, AJ, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is AJ. I've got a YouTube channel that uh, does mostly um, uh, law videos about Forgotten Realms. I'm going to be playing Steel. Um, and uh, he's an interesting cat who's here to restore order to reality. Jake, would you like to introduce yourself? You can do that. Um, I'm Jake. I have a channel uh, called Wisdom Check, and I have cats that won't leave me alone. And um, I pretty much do almost entirely Pathfinder 2, but I also have videos about how to like be a better GM and how to do things like run time travel and weird crap. And um, can you give the swear warning as soon as you can? Because I just stopped myself from doing it. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, Wally. Wally. Wally's busy, so I will introduce myself. Um, <clears throat> my name is uh, Fred Wheeler. I run the How to RPG channel. I do pretty much everything under the sun. Uh, and um, Wally made this book. And hopefully one day. Wally, me and AJ will make a book of our own of some some sort. We'll see. We'll see. That is my hope. Anyway, um, yeah, Wally, would uh, would Wally like to actually introduce himself since we are on Wally's channel? Oh, you are doing so well. Uh, I'm so, fine with that. So, oh, no. That, that, that's fine. So while, while you are trying to figure out how to get that to work, I can hear you just fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can hear you, but yeah, it doesn't help everybody else. So to give you a a really brief overview as to what Mage Ascension is, this is essentially a game system that Jake has been very eager to run. Uh, I'm assuming because nobody's ever wanted to play it, uh, I suspect, <laughs> or nobody's understood how to play this game or even knows what this game is. This game is supposed to be like, you can pretty much do anything under the sun. So I'm sure there are rules. I don't understand the rules. Uh, and, but um, Jake is going to be running this game for us. Would you like to um, to tell people very quickly, like what they can expect briefly before, while, while Wally, because I can see Wally's got his, his fingers on his temple and his, the stress is building. It's the ascension. Yeah, it's like Vampire the Masquerade, but <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just thinking that too. And yes, I would want to cover a, a brief overview of how mage works, what it is. Um, you are just a normal human until you realize suddenly magic is real, and now you're a mage and you can do magic things. And so it is sort of like you're Neo, but only once he realizes he is the one. So you change reality all around you. You can teleport. You can change yourself in any way, shape, shape, whatever the hell. So uh, this is going to be. Very freeform because it has to be. That's how mage works. That's why I didn't bring any battle maps because they will be altered during the combat. Hi, Wally. My mic's working. I'm just not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if if Wally's if Wally's microphone is in fact working, and uh, and we're all ready to go, would you like to take us away, um, <clears throat> Jake? Sure. Never done a spontaneous mage session with stuff hanging over my head. This is so weird on my camera. All right. So what tradition, wanna... you guys? Huh? Sorry, I, I was just saying. A bit, I I so want to start off with like the Sapphire and Steel start music. Do -do 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 -do. Why didn't we think of that? We could have played that. Da, 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 <laughs> da, da. Sorry. <clears throat> I can't remember the announcer voices. Uh, what he All says. of irregularities will be handled by the forces which are suitable for life. Ah! 
Nice. <laughs> I thought that was interesting because like no radio no radioactive metals. Yeah. You are a jerk face. God. Yes. I, I, I was thinking that I was not a jerk face. Uh, no, I, my... I may be a different sort of face, but it's not a jerk face. <laughs> no, my cat just knocked my soda off the desk. That'll be great. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Never never summon an imp before a podcast. <laughs> That would be your mind spheres. <laughs> All right. So whatever tradition you guys come from, like whatever reason you are able to do magic or however you have learned philosophy, spirituality, religion, whatever it is, you have been notified individually within your own chantries. So like the higher ups that are po more powerful mages have said, you need to go do this thing because a child who was destined is destined to become an oracle, the oracle of entropy, has been kidnapped. And he's just a kid, so he needs to be re-kidnapped so that he can be taken somewhere safe to basically Pluto, to the Chantry of Entropy. And so you are given a brief outline of the block where he is and a warehouse building, and that there is an... You were told that there is an operative who will be meeting with you shortly... And to mind your manners, or not mind your manners, to um, not overreact because he's a kindred. Vampire, vampire, he's a vampire. Oh. Hmm. Basically the golden child. The yes, animal. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. I love that movie. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go do this. Let's go to this place. Get the, okay. the child. Um, something that you should know because it's going to matter in what I say just uh, in a moment that uh, the sphere of entropy is all about random luck and destiny but it's also about decay and destruction in its purest forms mm. and that power heals vampires which might be why you have a vampire operative okay sure so I'd like to say that you guys are all together in a hotel room. Whether you have like interacted much or not is totally up to you. Do you want a moment to talk to each other? Like, I know that this perfectly fits AJ's purpose here because that's what Steel does. Mm. This kid doesn't belong here anymore. Yeah, Steel just like steps out of the bathroom like he just was in there. <laughs> and and he starts addressing you like he's supposed to be there. So with a, with a sense of authority, like at no point does it that does it seem to cross his mind that this is an unusual situation? Well, I, I don't know why it would be an unusual situation because I'm pretty sure that when we took this hotel room, there are three beds. So I saw you go into the bathroom. Now you've come out. So well done. Well done. You've done great. You know, we okay. have known us each, uh, each other for a few years now. I mean, I, uh, it's, it's not, a, it's not, it's not strange. I've I've I think seen he was you trying to say that he I've just seen you without your clothes as well, so it's all good. Yeah, Understand. but I wasn't wearing a grey three piece suit when I went in. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. It's not the first time Where'd we've seen change really fast. You know, Shh. we don't have to ask. Are you ready yet? Because he's usually ready. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had an, uh, a new set of clothes since I discovered that I can turn hotel bathrobes into whatever I want. That totally makes sense. <laughs> Um, and, uh, I know Still that... It feels like a Why not? Matter mage. Um, you can feel like anything you want. You can feel slimy if you want. Um, <laughs> Wally, I know that your character is based around stealth. I don't know if that's, like, on purpose met um, thematically, but that's definitely the mechanics of how he works. So, are you trying to stay away from everyone? Stay all mysterious? Or are you, like, polishing your katana? Or, like, what are you doing? I suppose if you were, it wouldn't help to, and it wouldn't hurt to announce it. You know, that's how you get new jobs, right? You have to advertise. Yeah. Nobody's going to catch you. So, okay. 
You stole my marker. Oh, you knocked that off too. Did you eat my marker? No, I didn't. But thank you for asking. Um, <clears throat> I'll be playing Mr. Mayo, and I'm not going to explain anything more than that. And yes, oh, that it sounds, sounds exactly muted. like mayonnaise. Okay, so just just deal with it, people. I Am look I like I'm muted? made out of mayonnaise. <clears throat> Crap. If I'm oh, still shit. muted, we're in trouble. Yeah, like, we are. Like as as soon as summer ends, I turn into mayonnaise completion. Hmm. Um. So, you, Wally, your character is downstairs okay. at the bar. They hear me. Yes. Okay, they can hear me. Okay. Yes. I'm, yeah, I'm down at the bar. Yes. Oh, are were we? Okay, I have no idea where I'm at. Okay. Yeah, I put you in a hotel room because you're supposed to be waiting for your contact. Okay. Um. Then I am in a hotel. I'm at the hotel room. Um. There's a bar on the inside of the hotel room. Right. The mini bar. Yes, the mini bar. But I'm acting like it's <laughs> a full service bar. <laughs> and I opened it with my we're crowbar. Both, we're both standing next to the open fridge with our tiny drinks. Yes, like everything's yes, completely yes. Normal. These little, these little, these little drinks, and I've got one that's called uh, Doctor McGillicuddy's, and it's like the red kind. And I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm got... sipping it, and you can see where I destroyed because it's usually locked. They have a lock on it to keep people from getting in. Uh, but I, I opened it with a crowbar. By the way, they're probably going to want us to pay for that. I'm drinking them, and then they're refilling. <laughs> them back in the fridge here <laughs> this doesn't the taste so <laughs> yeah the midori's nice mm. when you say you refill it they're refilling is it because you're refilling them from above or below or you're refilling them a different way i'm just changing the air into a liquid looking substance so when they open it it'll be empty but it just looks like it's refilling i'm just okay. putting them back in the mm. Well, that's much better. Minor larceny. I know what Fred you know, was I, thinking. That's much more good. I, I thought. I think. I thought you were doing your yeah. your business in there. Uh, <laughs> filling them. <laughs> well, that is a special. I mean, it's possible. <clears throat> it's, it's just matter turning into matter after all. The, the, oh. the, the bottles will be warm. You, you sure. have. You've been working on that filter system too, right? I mean, so that's like. I mean, it gets out the impurities. So I mean. AJ, you have yep. uh, forces too, right? Um, yeah, I've got I've got prime two, I've got forces two. Okay, well you can instantly make it chill if you care. Yeah, but you okay. know I'm always I'm always worried that I'm going to cause a drought somewhere. So I'm going to go find myself a bath <laughs> robe. I don't know a bath towel that's dry. I flick it over my shoulder because I'm ready to I'm ready for action now. Yeah, so are, are we 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 we've got to deal with this this orb thing. The Should... entropy can can could what happened could happen to everything. What if everything's in, 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 you know entropic? Should should Entro should we all wear bathrobes and be like our uniforms? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I just if you go anywhere, you always take a towel with you, don't you? Yeah, that's true. Be sure to take yeah. a towel. <laughs> so we go on. On the back is uh, just embroidered the whiz. <laughs> I'll be adding towel to my character sheet. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> Slightly damp, slightly damp towel. Yes, <laughs> slightly damp. Okay. All right. So the lights dim in the hotel room, and a visible cr uh, shadow creeps under the door and flows into the room. Um, you do have a moment to obliterate it with magic if you want to. It's clearly supernatural. And slowly, a form, a uh, humanoid, for a human form, starts playing too much D and D. A human form starts coalescing from it, slowly rising up off of the floor. And he's a monochromatic priest he's dressed as a priest i offer him a robe um. <laughs> <laughs> it's good it's good he doesn't need a towel in <laughs> <laughs> um, like, what what no no i'm my name is jacob i'm here to help you am i in the wrong room like, no, you're in the, the oh door. you're in the right you're in the right place if if it's about <laughs> If it's about the mini bar, it was like that when we found it. Somebody else broke it open. I don't know. All right, I need you to get your game face on because this is going to be a dangerous mission. You have to go rescue the future of vampire kind, at the very least. Hmm. Perhaps also the future of all of you. I don't think you understand that he can help avert the end of the world if need be. This kid has some power, and he's so beautiful. 
Anyway, I should lead you to him. He's in a warehouse, but it's not really warehouse. It's covered in... It's covered in... An illusion. And there are guards outside and within. Unfortunately, three different factions of the technocracy have been vying for control over this child. And so you're going to be facing men in black, terminators, and the progenitors. The progenitors? The he's still in that location. The progenitors. Is that the one with the, the top 10 song that came out a few weeks ago? That's somebody else. I don't, I'm not familiar with the progenitors. Oh, no, the, the, the faction of the technocracy that deals with biochemistry. Oh. Okay. They've created the superiors, and they are genetically engineered, perfect soldiers who are psychopaths who are that protecting the child. Sense. That makes more sense. Okay, okay. I get it now. <laughs> I'll turn to you and be like, maybe you should save confusing conversation for our enemies. That's mm. Mm, good point. That could be the coincidental effect of his magic confusing their minds. Yes. <laughs> they just go, what? For like a whole round while you kill him. <laughs> well, okay. Well, it, makes, it makes sense that you would be in the habit of keeping people a little bit off balance so that you can more easily slip them very off balance. Yes. <clears throat> now, when you say it's, uh, it's uh, covered in an illusion... Uh, does it look like a building, this illusion, or does this illusion look like an open blank field so that it's not... Oh, no, 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 it looks like here? a warehouse, but it's not a warehouse. It's a research facility. It's a laboratory that descends underground and goes for miles. I don't even know how long. Uh, miles. Oh, good, so it's that. not like an extra-dimensional space or anything. It's a real place. No, 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 the technocracy rarely does that. Mm. They're very stuck in their ways on purpose. Okay. Mm. okay. Fine. Where's the warehouse? Uh, he says, he, he gives you directions. And he says, I will meet you there. I will be your way in. If oh. something goes wrong, be prepared to deal with the defensive measures. Whatever they may be. Probably machine and man. I have a crowbar, a so I'm, I'm not, I think we got it covered. I will use the telephone and order an Uber. Yeah, we will we'll, we'll, we'll wait. It's only what seven minute mate, fifteen minute wait usually for the Uber to come up. Um, is, has Jacob left yet? No, no, he's still there. He looks like he's wringing his hands. There seems to be something wrong with him mentally. Okay, all right, we've got it. Thanks, Jacob. All good. Yeah, yeah. No problems. Yeah, we have we to have a on. we have to have a secret conversation now. So um, we'll <clears> meet you there. By the way, Jacob, are you aware that you're monochromatic? I would, I would, Sadly, I say it's that. one of the side effects of taking shadow form. What'd you take? Shadow form? I didn't take medication. I don't take drugs. There's no point anyway. I'm a vampire. Oh, got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. Shadow form. Right on. <sighs> and he opens the window and he starts climbing out. Uh, hmm. mm. See you later. <laughs> no, it is not daytime. That would be horrible. Yeah, somebody, okay. Somebody's going to be very confused uh, uh, when they see that. Yeah, I'll make sure I shut the window and pull the. Pull okay, the and he's gone. So, so now that he's gone. So, so Jacob, um, do do we have any confidence in Jacob? Because Jacob, instead of knocking on the door and letting us just open the door, decides to just pass under the door as a, like a shadow, mm -hmm. and instead of just leaving through the door because on this side and the other side he doesn't have to worry about a lock so he could just open the door and leave he's decided to go out the fucking window of all places the window um oh. we're not going to do well with jacob around frankly <laughs> uh, is jacob going to be that helpful to us i i don't think so do any of you have a cult at all it's on the right hand column a cult no yeah No. Okay. Yeah. Why do we need? Do we have to I have, have a cult? Because I feel like I have, the three, I have, of, us, just the three of us are enough. I have. I have you know? politics. That's kind of like a cult. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you, if, you, if you want us to, the three of us to make our own cult, we can. Uh, we can throw out a few names there right now, if you like. Not I'm cults. Gonna... Our cult. Oh, I've oh, got cult. one star in a cult. So, Ouija boards, tarot cards. I know what these are. Yes. Okay. 
Doesn't help you get more detail about vampires. I know what my exist. I know Obviously, what my moon sign mean. is. You know, I know I know what my what house my moon was in when I was born. <laughs> I know this is silly, but roll intelligence plus a cult. Okay. Nice. Because I want to see a roll. You want to see a roll? Well, people. I'm sure everybody who's been watching, um, the four people that are watching, want to see a roll as well. I just realized there's four of us probably watching our own it's live stream. A... We're probably the only ones actually in the live stream, right? Oh, we got four on the dice, yeah. and I've got three pips, so that's seven. Wait, what? I got a four on the dice, and I've got three pips in intelligence. So is that a seven, or am oh, I rolling? No, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you how to roll shit. Um, each pip, <laughs> each pip is just the number of dice that you roll. It's all d10s. Oh, so okay. if you have and we're three in intelligence and one in the cult, you roll four d10s. And I tell you, the target number is a six. So you tell me how many successes you got on the four dice. Uh, I got two successes on the four dice. Wow, you're actually familiar. Okay, so normally this kind of vampire is what most people that know about vampires consider evil. They're part of the faction of vampires, the two main factions, that wants to destroy the world and eat all humans. But he's being helpful for some reason. Hmm. How do I convey this to my teammates? You can just tell us. Yeah, I just tell them. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is... He, uh, you could say that he's um, defecting from the Sabbat, or he's doing this without their knowledge. Either way, he's mm. putting himself in danger to do this, unless he's trying to capture you. So the conclusion is he's either trying to trap us, or he's gone native and he's some sort of human lover, mm. which is weird. Yeah, and he's liking, in danger. Yeah, liking your food. Mm. Yeah, I don't trust. Like him. calling a sheep, like be, be like calling a sheep your friend. Hmm. I suppose I can. Oh, well. Please tell me that, that Uber has arrived. I'm still waiting for the <laughs> notification on my it's, it's on its way. Oh <laughs> my god. So I've got so I've got did still you, time. So did you have enough for him. Did you have enough Bitcoin to pay for that? Bitcoin. I think yeah. they only take Bitcoin now. Actually it's dog Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know anything about cryptocurrencies except that they exist. Jacob That's the does. whole point. They exist and be unknowable. Right. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. The moment anyone starts to understand them, the nerds will throw up another smoke screen. Yeah. So it sounds like Jacob has got some uh, ulterior motives and involving us helps him either put up a screen or maybe he really does want to help who knows and he's maybe he's just nervous because he knew that we could destroy him instantly yeah that's probably or true. he's he's <laughs> also very stupid yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably seen what i did to this little mini bar with the to the lock <laughs> i mean i would be nervous if i was a normal person i walked in here or yeah yeah, if I knew there were mages anywhere, I would just stay away from them. They're scary. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so let's say that the Uber shows up, and uh, please everybody roll perception plus alertness. Okay. So roll the total number of dice in those two stats. Perception is two. Alertness is five, so I get seven. Boy, you're right. I am going to roll and, a lot, too. Four, and the target six, number is going to be a seven because it's kind of hard to see. Um. Do ones cancel stuff out? I, I listened to something today that yeah. said ones cancel stuff out. Yeah, ones one cancel six. successes. Oh, man. T uh, seven ones. ones. I'm just kidding. So you I you got seven ones? No, I'm kidding. I had a I, I did have a nine and a one. So those will cancel each other out and the rest are failures. Okay. Seven That's ones would be like standing on the street and you are hit by the Uber. <laughs> so do we have to grow? I don't do, see it. Do we do we have to roll higher or equal to and higher? Equal and higher. Equal or higher. So I got a nine. The only one. Okay, so you got one success. AJ, any successes? Yeah, yeah. just one eight. Okay. One, one um, success. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> technically, you notice something weird in general. 
There is some sort of protrusion on the underside of the car. It looks like it doesn't belong there. There's a red flashy light. Oh. Okay. Um, using matter. Is that a bomb? Oh, hey, there's matter sense. You can just detect it. Yeah. There's, there's our. Button. There's our Uber. Hey, right here. <laughs> um, that's not our Uber. That's a trap. That is. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you okay. think the driver is aware that there's a bomb under the Uber? Wait, a what? Now that you look at the driver, you notice that he fits the general description of one of the men in black. They're a genetically engineered creature. They're not really humans anymore. They tend to have a hive mind, and they all look rather uniform. This dude is white, no hair, wearing sunglasses at night in a black suit. Is it J or K? <laughs> exactly. Might be one of the holographic drivers. Um, hmm. Hmm. Is it a busy street? What time of night is it? Um, it's... Let's say it's 7 p.m. It's a moderately busy street. Yeah, you could just get another Uber if you want. Yeah. Can you get Let's one get without another a... Uber. Can you get one without a bomb? <laughs> I was considering detonating the bomb, but yeah. no. I, I'm just saying when you go through the checklist, maybe that's a checkbox you left checked, and if you uncheck it, it'll send us a... On the app, they're they're tricky like that. that. I didn't notice anything. So I'm guessing, yeah. Let's not draw attention to us with an exploding car. Mm. Uh, AJ, do you have time one? I think so. Yes. Okay, and um, also Fred succeeded on this. Fred, do you have time one? Do I have time? I've always got time for you, Jake. Um, so yes, I have time three. Okay, both of you can see that there is a time pattern inside the bomb, so the bomb is actually magical. It's not just somebody decided to kill this dude. Oh. Oh. Dun dun. Can you can you turn the bomb? Um, can you turn the bomb into like a chocolate bar? Yes. Just do that. <laughs> okay. Are you getting in? Says the guy in the seat with no emotion. No. He looks straight ahead then. <laughs> I step he just back. sits there like he has other business there. What? I'm just gonna step back and, and I just I just lean over and like a tisket, a tasket, your car bomb is a, is a chocolate basket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you do want to do something magical to it, just roll your arate. Okay. Roll your arate. Usually, uh, I, nobody's ever told me that before. <laughs> roll your arate. Uh, I got a five. I'll tell you a lot of things you've never heard before, Wally. <laughs> right, right. I, got a, I got a five? No. no. <laughs> I got a five, a one, a two, and a two. Good fucking god, no. Okay, so nope, nothing happens. It must be counter magic or something. Hang on a minute. I think I just turned the carburetor into something. <laughs> yes. It has moved. <laughs> There's a kitten behind me there. Mm-hmm. There's, oh, there's more... no, we can't do anything else except look at the kitty. Oh. Oh, come on. You've got your own kits. <laughs> but they're not kittens. <sighs> come on. He's not trying to he's not trying to turn it into a kitten. It's a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh it seems to be shielded somehow. Maybe it's coated in lead or something like that. Alright. Well, should we just go back into the hotel, have another drink and order a different Uber that doesn't have a bomb? Should we get a proper drink, not in the hotel? Because we're in the hotel to meet the person that we met. So let's just go to a bar and get a drink. Well, how far away is the is that is that warehouse? Can we just walk? We can it's call a taxi. minutes by car, so sure you could eventually. I mean, you could even mm -hmm. teleport there if you want to. Let's but, do um, this. It... Let's let's order a pizza and have the pizza guy take us there. Yeah, we'll give him an extra tip. That's yeah. a good idea. 
Yeah. Sure. A tip of mind control. <laughs> yeah. I'll just change. Some, I'll just make some currency. Yes. Yeah. I had uh, Dogecoin. No, some actual <laughs> currency. Well, like paper money, they still use it. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's okay. do that. Let's order a pizza, and then get dropped off. Yes. And uh, yeah. Order a pizza. What sort of pizza would you like? Anything, but don't put pineapple on it. Don't put pineapple okay. on it. No pine. No pineapple. And I don't oh. want chilies because yeah. I will. I'll never be able to cope if it has chili on it, man. That'd okay. Be the end of me. Uh, yeah. I'll open up a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Take out a selection of organic goods that to basically fit the bill. Mm. All right. Look, there's a warm pizza. It was just sitting on top in a box. But we're supposed to get it for the, for the driver. It's a supreme pizza with anchovies. I don't see any wheels on that supreme the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the anchovies, of course, are unaltered from what I got out of the trash can. <laughs> oh, Back to the sardines. <laughs> Can't tell it to a salty little lump of plastic. <laughs> yeah, what would sardines on a pizza be like? Mm. Oh, uh, Mark Fishy? from Mark yeah. from Dungeon Class says maybe Uber Eats. So yeah, so if the pizza <laughs> thing fails, then we'll see if maybe Uber Eats can take us. So is anybody eating HS pizza with him? No, or are you just ordering another one? No, 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 no. The thin, thin crust, stuffed crust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He got out of a trash can. It must be clean. Do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, it's not obvious that he took it. Took the stuff out of the cam. Um, uh, trash oh, you know, can it's very obvious. Pizza. He's <laughs> sipping it on a trash can lid. Oh, yeah. I, no, 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 no. I'm being sarcastic. I, I'm I'm perfectly aware of what you're up to. Uh, so yes. So look, if he, living if off this, the land, it's just you know the <laughs> street meats. If we can't get a lift with Uber Eats, then we're just gonna walk. It can't be that far. <laughs> Nobody has ordered Uber Eats. Just say you order a car and it shows up eventually without a bomb. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, somebody actually ordered. Hi, like, oh, are you Lenny? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you want? He seems like he's been drinking. <laughs> Perfect. This guy's good. <laughs> and, and Nissan? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Eats what does it Anybody smell? who has life and cares can make him sober. <laughs> what does it smell? That potpourri? Oh. Blade? Well, that's my, that's my air fresheners. They're all mulberry. And he picks up an empty tissue box and shows you 20 of the mulberry air fresheners. It's back on the floor. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. I would I would like to um, coming through. I I would like to convince this guy somehow to um that that he's got a tail light out and he should come back and look at it while motioning for the other two to get in the car because we're gonna take it. Um. Okay. Uh. I don't know what your character has. Um. I have uh, manipulation three, mind three. Uh. I have two levels in the force. Be with you. <laughs> um, I don't think carjacking an Uber really takes magical powers. He's drunk. We're we're saving his life. <laughs> I know this is weird, but roll subterfuge plus manipulation plus arete, because Holy. you're using words to convince him magically. Okay, so that's all the dice, right? So arete, I've yeah, got, I've got five arete. What was the other two? Subterfuge, manipulation, and subterfuge. Yeah. Okay, manipulation, I have three, and I don't know where the other one's at, and I only have eight dice anyway, so. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I got some really hot rolls. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a one, and that'll cancel out the ten, but I got a nine, and, need, a nine, and sixes. eight, a seven, and a six. My lowest is a five. Whoa, okay. S smoke um, this dude. <laughs> essentially, you can, like even pl implant like a post hypnotic suggestion at this point if you wanted to um i do yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I want i want him to get help first thing in the morning i want him to go find a family member uh get some coffee sober up and then check himself into getting some help and, and not drink and drive again oh, okay damn. we're going beyond of one, uh, one oh, thing. and 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 <laughs> not and not to report his car stolen because we'll return it in the morning i'm going <laughs> to lean, lean over and say <clears throat> You should get him to sit in the back. 
because you need to do the driving. There's no way we can have okay. you driving. Yeah, never mind. I thought he was just stealing the car. <clears throat> yeah, we're just stealing the car. Oh, stealing the car. All right. Okay. okay. So he just I like that stage. idea better. Let's go. Uh, scratch Let's... that. Bring him with us. He's going. Okay. What's his name? Okay. Lenny. Lenny. Lenny, get in the back. <laughs> I thought you said that. Yeah. Let's go with Lenny. Yo, Lenny, get in the back. We got some stuff to do. Come on. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. There we go. He scoots over. Yep. There we go. Sure comes untucked. Tuck your shirt in, dude. So, he's sitting next to steel seals just like. You're setting a bad example. Come on, tuck your shirt in. What? Why is he here? We're on the way. All right. Uh, he's going to be our getaway driver. So in case the shit really goes down and we need to get out of here in a hurry, uh, he's back there with a cup of coffee sobering up. And by the time. I don't remember if I agreed to that. I don't, I don't remember. I'll stay here. You drive. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, Dak Faden, uh, greatest thief in the universe will drive. Does he uh, have more than one, um, thing of drive? I don't think so. I don't think he has <laughs> one in drive. <laughs> I don't have any. You don't I've have got any one. in drive. I've got one of, I've got one of drive, so Yeah, I'll and, drive. and I've been drinking. <laughs> He's like, <"Hey>, me, <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't take much convincing. I slide over. <laughs> oh, I've been drinking, but it's it's like an elf drinking. Mm. Really? Slide yeah. over. I haven't been drinking. I can drive. <laughs> I get into the seat. Let's just get. I put my foot down, man. The foot Fine. going down. We've we've taken so long. It's been forty minutes, and we still haven't got to this warehouse. <laughs> I grunted up, mate. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to punch it through those lights. <laughs> gear? What's a gear? <laughs> Okay, like, fine. You get there. We'll just skip to that. Yes, yeah. please. I'm, I'm, gonna look at, I'm gonna look at Lenny and ask him why his car only does 45 miles per hour. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's 145 Lenny, miles per hour, not 45 miles an hour. <laughs> what is this? How do you make any money with that Uber Eats pizza delivery, whatever it is you do? All right, we're at the warehouse. <laughs> All right, please, when you get there, everybody roll perception and alertness. Oh. And the target number is going to be um, six again. It's usually six. Oh, cool. I get seven. This time, hopefully, I don't roll. Crap. Ooh. That's a, Ooh. Is a ten, a nine, and an eight. I rolled highs and lows. So my two ones are going to cancel out my ten and a nine, but I still had two more nines and a four. Two successes. Oh, okay. So two and three, and Fred, how many did you get? Yeah, I got uh, I got eight, six, and a nine. So there's three. So the low one okay. cancels the high one. So I got two successes. No, oh, you all got the same number. That's weird. Hmm. Um, unless I misheard that. We also uh, have the so... same bathrobe, but you know. We're all... no, I'm wearing a three piece gray gray suit. Oh man, didn't wear the uniform. Okay. No, I, I look... feel I feel dumb. I look good. I look good. All right. All right. So Steel notices a um a. I guess it'd be a pair of drones, circling over the warehouse, and the uh, the other two of you notice that there are, like, well armed military guards. Two in the front and two in the back. Hmm. Stealth. Cool. I can do that. Are the drones are the drones going to be able to still see us, even if we are being stealthy? Oh, they'd be loaded up with all kinds of sensors. <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're going to be full of like heat detection, sound. You can Let's... try to blind them, or shut them down, or just make yourself seem invisible to electronics. Let's sit here for a minute and have a cup of coffee and see if there's a pat. <laughs> see if there's a pattern. Um, to how they move around and see if there's a gap. Well, okay. While they're well, doing that, I want to twirl my crowbar as fast as possible uh, to try to garnish their attention and then move stealthily. Red, you're in the wrong group, dude. <laughs> I don't know. You, all you guys want to do is, is, is like get to the adventure. By the time we have finished this one shot, we have only just arrived. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to pick up a couple of stones and... Uh, <clears throat> While somebody is noticing the patterns, I am preparing to do a 
uh, what is it, like a, a a marble flick at the drones. I don't know how far away they are. I don't care. Um, it doesn't and, matter. Magic. Yeah. Um, and try to, yeah, once the pattern's been established, I'm going to attempt to knock them out of the air with a, a pebble that I flick at them. Are you telling me that you're going to do this? Of course I am. Mm. Okay. I do, I do point out that the reason why I'm not just destroying the drones in the sky is because that would alert them as much as the drones detecting our presence. And the armed security guards um, you are probably armed with stuff that can you guys, we can't handle. Can you guys repro uh, reprogram them? It's, wouldn't it just be easy just to avoid? That could be. Probably. Uh, the reason I mentioned forces is because you could just mess with their sensors. You could make you guys essentially invisible just to electronics. Um, yeah, but we could fail. With, yes, with you can fail. With with a five stealth, can I teleport? No, teleportation is correspondence. Hmm. Uh, feel free to move points around. We're just fucking around anyway. So no, like, no I'm I'm good. I want to I want to challenge no, myself. No, we're, we're we're all good. We're all good. Okay, I, I, so I want to sneak up let's on just, these uh, guards. Let, let's let's watch the pattern, and then we're going to try to sneak in. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. We've established that uh, that uh, destroying the drones is probably a bad idea, and um, we're just going to hope that they don't have um, you know anti mayo technology or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> How what what are the guards dressed like? The they're dressed like military soldiers. Okay. Military guards. All right. Hmm. Um, if you want more detailed information on them, you can use Arate to sense whatever the hell... Actually, it wouldn't even be Arate. If you have at least one in a variety of different spheres, you can roll... <coughs> uh, perception plus alertness, and I can tell you factors about them, if you care. Hmm. I'll turn to the other two and say, um, I have a plan. Okay. I'm open to suggest. Since I am not good at stealth, how about I walk directly up to the door carrying a clipboard and a cup of coffee and my suit and a stethoscope? And I tell them that I'm simply the doctor. They're holding a child. Meanwhile, okay. you use the distraction to sneak into the complex. Okay. Um, well, I remember the last time you tried to do this, and um, I was I... perfectly fine. I'm good with bullets. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm not particularly good at stealthy anyway. So why don't we just all walk up with a clipboard, or at least um, as a I don't know. I mean, you I, know, I, I, want, I want to be. Stealthy. I will remind you, you're wearing bathrobes. <laughs> <laughs> over over my normal clothing. Over my normal clothing, I'm a ninja in a bathrobe. Yes, <laughs> I have a towel. I do not. I do not wear a bathrobe in public. Oh, okay? that's so much better. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're infiltrating a, a facility, that's probably a pretty smart move. And and uh, okay, so if you guys can distract, I can stealth. But what's Lenny gonna do? He's he can in stay the in the car. He oh, can that's barely right. drive. Lenny, I mean, good lord. He's not your sight, Jake. <laughs> All right. Extra cup of coffee. Keep the motor running in case we got to get away quick. Thanks. All right. Lenny's good. Yeah, okay. And like he already got in the back seat and is having coffee. And so he's reaching over it trying to start the car. Mm. So I will just be your assistant. He's like a taxi driver from Deadpool. Yeah. I will just be your, your, um, your assistant. And I will wrap my towel around my head like a turban. And um, I just got out of the shower. Ready, ready to go. <laughs> that, that's 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 good. That's the best way to dry your hair, right there. Yeah. Ready when you are. I was right. aiming for plausible, but okay. Okay. <laughs> this is not plausible. <laughs> no, wait. So wait, you're all the doctor? <laughs> no, I'm sneaking. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stealthy. Okay, stealthy. I'm, doctor, I'm gonna move in the shadow. Assistant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll walk up to the gate with my companion here. Um, it, there's there's no gate. There's just double doors and stairs leading up to it. But as soon as you seem like you're approaching that section of the block, um, both soldiers stop and one of them uh, aims at you with his rifle. And the other one says, state your name. 
you mind lowering the rifle, please? He gestures down, the other guy puts the rifle down. It's Dr. Steele, this is my patient. <laughs> Brain surgery patient, apparently. Oh, you don't want to look at what's under the towel. <laughs> we have an um, appointment. That is uh, manipulation plus. Either manipulation or intelligence plus subterfuge again, because you guys just keep lying to people. <laughs> Subterfuge? Yeah. Where is the subterfuge at? Oh, there it is. Why didn't I have anything in that? Damn. Because it's sneaky. Oh. No. This, this is just straight up uh, manipulation. Okay. And... Um, if you want to use magic to enhance this, you can roll your Arate separately. So they're two separate rolls. Okay, so the irritate definitely carries me through. <laughs> okay. Um, that's, that's one success. <laughs> uh, sorry, for the irritate, it's actually uh, target number four because these guys are genetically stupid. Oh. Okay. Um, then that's two successes. Okay. He goes, yeah. oh, all right then. Um, can I... Can I help guide you at all? I'll buzz you in. He just goes over to the door. Oh, didn't even have to change the sheet of paper. I could do the psychic paper thing. It's real cool. Psychic paper thing? Yeah, I can change the text on a bit of paper to whatever I need oh, it to oh. be. Mm. Forge bank notes, that sort of thing. Yep, you magically convinced him. You changed yeah. his mind, literally. I mm -hmm. put I put my crowbar away. <laughs> You're supposed to be um, sneaking I, in. I was. Uh, yeah, I do need. <laughs> okay, but you need to roll the stealth plus dexterity. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, I don't have enough dice for that. That's ten dice. So let's go eight. Gosh, why do I keep getting ones? Uh, let's see here. So, um, now, this is actually is a target number of eight because there was so much security. Okay, well, none of those worked. Oh, I'm sorry. Pause. You can use a point of willpower to get an automatic success. I'll do that. Okay. The universe is random and statistics are a lie. Cult of mathematics. One success. One total? Yeah. <laughs> the, the one that's <laughs> the willpower on. You're all really bad, man. <laughs> Ten dice. Okay. One success with the willpower because I well, didn't get it on the target dice. number, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I a couple sevens, a one, and everything else in between. A a single success is a nominal success. It means that you succeeded barely, or you succeeded with a drawback. So you stealthily sneak inside a window as a guard sees your foot go in the window. Okay. I I. I'll lean back through and wave at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the doctor. Yeah. I'm one of the patients. <laughs> you look like you're sneaking in at this point. He gets ready to shoot you. Roll initiative. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, now, now, I was waiting for something yeah, to happen. One thing to do. So everybody rolls. Uh, we're doing simplified version. So everybody rolls a d10 and okay. they add their total of wits plus alertness. Okay. Uh, so it'll just be a high number, a single number. So D10, 8, 9, 10, 11. Two. Uh, two. Wits. Oh. Oh. Uh, five. Nine. Sadly, you all go before the trained soldier. Yeah. Excellent. So 12 goes first. Now, I want to pause here in case the audience cares. Normally, in Mage, we would declare our actions in reverse order, but as Wally said in a recent Beck Me, that sucks. So we're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that. Because people in the 80s were crazy. <laughs> what do you so intend to do? First, <laughs> well, I intend to do this, but what I'll probably do is going to be a lot different. <laughs> 
Uh, so of... I will turn his gun into uh, a little orange cap appears on the barrel as I turn it into a rubber prop. Okay, that is vulgar magic, no witnesses, so you will have to uh, roll your Erte. If you fail, you're going to get punished by Paradox. And you start accumulating points in it, it can drive you insane or cause damage or fuck up spells. I'm prepared for this. I'm praying for it. <laughs> so, uh, so what do I need to roll? Paradox. Oh, um, that is, oh, yeah, you need three successes at a six. We've got two successes and two failures. And you meant to spend a point of willpower, right? Oh. Yay. Yeah. The willpower doesn't add an extra die. It's just an automatic success. So you have three successes. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. So what the fuck did you change his rifle into? A rubber ball? No, it's a, a rubber prop gun. So it looks exactly the oh. same as his gun, except it's got a little orange cap on it. Perfect. Oh, you you read that. All right. Yeah, right. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so he 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 tries to click, and it he's so strong it bends in his hand, and he goes, "What?" The? And he starts to throw it down. Not his turn. Hmm. Um. The eleven goes next. Whoever what hell was uh, that? I I was, I was eleven. Um, okay. I would like to just like melt into the shadows and then um, disappear inside. Oh, are I, you I, already basically succeeded on that? So you can just. I think so, but he's see, he's seeing me. So, hmm, what can I do instead then? Since I'm inside now, do I see? Assassinate him. Uh, do I see anything? Uh, do I see the the front door that they were protecting? If I, if I went through a window, then there was a door. Wait, what? What do you mean from the inside or from the outside? Yeah, so, so from the inside. You said I snuck through uh, the door. No, you don't see a window. You don't see the exterior door from going in the side window. Oh shit! It's a hallway in front of you. That's steel and brightly lit. Okay. Um. Then I just want to lean back out the window and throw a crowbar at the other guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, let's do something here just for my sake. I'm sorry for this takes longer, but it's interesting. Um, Wally, you have time magic, so I you do. can slow down time relative to you. So okay. will you please roll Erite, and we'll see how many extra actions you get. I thought we could just do like a, a very slow montage of the crowbar flipping through the air with my time magic. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Now that's going to be doing multiple times, so... Okay. All right. uh, my Erite is five, so what am I doing now? Just roll an Erite? Yeah, your uh, target number is six. If you get at least two successes, you get an extra action for the rest of this combat. Okay. Um, I have an eight, a six, and two ones. Motherfucker. Great. Okay, well, never mind. So you throw a crowbar. Great. Yes. And then, and then if it doesn't hit, then I get upset and I crawl back out the window and I go get it. <laughs> That's athletics plus strength. Let's see if you hit him with a fucking crowbar. <laughs> How do you throw a crowbar? I don't know, target number eight? People don't throw crowbars. I throw crowbars. <laughs> um, <laughs> athletics plus what? Strength. All right, so I get to roll one die. <laughs> what? I got a six. No, remember you were going to put athletics points in because it's dodge. Oh, I didn't do were that. Were you not? I put athlet. I put it into melee. Okay, sorry. I was thinking of Fred. Don't yeah. you worry. All right. Alertness. That's play. what I went with. Alertness. All right. So yeah, you go first. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sorry. Did did you get a success? I didn't. I uh, remember. I got a six on my one single die that I got to roll. All right. Great. So <clears throat> it's the ground. Gosh loudly. damn it. Other guards start moving toward you. Damn it. <laughs> All right. I get out and put myself in danger to get my crowbar back because I need that. And I tighten my robe. What <sighs> the crowbar? It's my security crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Do Fred, I have anything else? I think... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can. Um, I'm going to whip off my towel turban. 
and um, whip it round his. Uh, they get the other guy's neck that uh, that, that has the gun that still functions since the other one's sort of out of commission. And yeah. then I'm going to um, try to force him into a lock so I could choke him out. Of yeah. course, that makes sense. Hey man, I'm a, I'm I'm into. <laughs> that sort of thing. So, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use a towel uh, and do a Jackie Chan. So, Don't forget um, to bring a towel. <laughs> what, what am I rolling here? Okay. So, uh, do you have life or matter? I think those would be it. Life. I have three life. Okay. I'm sorry. I have to keep asking. I don't have your character sheets up in front of me. That's all right. Um, okay, so you're just doing athletics plus dexterity and roll the three dots of life as well. So make that your dice pool. And this okay. is a magical, I'm going to whip him toward me with my magic towel. Okay, so so life three, you said athletics. Yeah, and strength. Athlet no, dexterity, dexterity. Dexterity, dexterity three. Okay, that's okay. And then what was the other one? There were three of them, just athletics, dexterity, and... Uh, life life athletics sticks dirty and yeah, okay right okay athletics uh which is all oh, this shit there's a lot of dice i'm gonna have to go i'm gonna have to go to the heavy dice i'm in the metal dice now people uh danger danger these things they 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 cause damage here we go uh, the target uh, numbers okay and so what what numbers do i need to tell you about uh, uh six or higher uh, so just tell me how many successes you got in total Okay, all right, so that's a 10, 10. That's a, Lego started making D&D &D terrain. They should have made Lego seven, dice. Can you imagine a Lego eight, D4? Eight. I rolled, a, I rolled a one, so ones cancel out of success, correct? Right. Cool, take those away. That's a success. That's a success. That's a success. Oh, it's looking bad. I've only got eight successes. <laughs> Okay, well, you grab him toward you. He gets to resist with his brawl plus strength. <laughs> yeah. No! Okay, so he is stunned while you hold him. He doesn't oh. get his next action. Great. Yeah. Like, scruff the neck. Mm. Okay. You can start, like, you know, choking him out or something. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh yes, choking him out is definitely when I start doing that. I think pinch. it's AJ up. Right. Uh, so I've still. Action. So uh, that's the guard in front of me that's just been attacked, or the other guard. It's the one that no, has the gun the still. So not the one that you removed the gun from. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. That guy gets an action first. Fuck. He pulls out a boot knife and charges you. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I'm well trained in martial arts. Let's try to stabby stabby. You may try. As long as you come at me in this manner. Strictly. Must, must approach me like this with the knife. Because he's a psychopath? No, because that's what I'm trained for. <laughs> Just that specifically. <laughs> yeah, no, no stabbing, no from the sides, no that bullshit. According to There's the pamphlet, the according to the pamphlet, <laughs> stabbing is this. Great. Okay. Good. Um, you can uh, you can roll a variety of things to get away from this. Whether you're better at strength, I've got I've got dexterity. three I've got three melee and I've got three strengths. Okay. If those are the highest two that you have, roll those together. You need two successes out of six. Okay. Yeah, uh, What's a success? Six. Six. You need two successes to avoid the knife. Um, I get stabbed. <clears throat> All right, great. Okay. You you take uh, one level of wound. <laughs> damn. Oh wait. Shit. Shit. No, that's separate. It stabbed you. Now you get to roll your soak. So roll stamina plus your four armor. You need one success. Good. You're going to roll like, what, eight dice? Yeah. Can't believe they stabbed the doctor. This is like a soap opera. I know. 
Oh, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five stamina. Four. And then another one of him pops out from around the corner. That's my twin brother! God almighty, I miss rolling just one dice. <laughs> I'm just going to say it now. <laughs> Not in the I, guess, I, I like to make, I actually dig it. That's kind of cool. So if failures cancel out of successes, I have no success. On how many dice? Ten. That happened to me too. It's, <laughs> it, it's just when you get older, your dice just don't like, work the way they used to. It's like... <laughs> Four, three, four, five, four, five. Ooh. Yeah. All right, you take one wound level. I believe that's bruised. Yeah. Okay. That, that's the <laughs> negative penalty. Some he somehow he found just the one point between the mesh weave of your Kevlar. <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> wait, that suit has barely, Kevlar. <laughs> Steel barely even yeah, registers does. that. He's just like pulls the knife out. It's bent slightly. <laughs> That should looks, not have hurt just, you. Just looks at the guard. Now I must break you. Uh, when you look at him, you notice a bright red light show up in one of his eyes. Oh, the left eye. Fucking Terminators! Oh, there. <laughs> just demonetize myself. Gosh damn it! <laughs> Gosh damn it! <laughs> I'm going to deactivate you. Oh. We're going to need some hot lava to drown him in. That's the only thing that gets these guys who are a trash compactor. <laughs> That's right. I can make a phase plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Yes. Uh, all right. So that's that dude's turn. And now it's your turn, Adrian. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to deactivate this guy. <laughs> well, since you know now that he's at least partially cybernetic, you can use matter magic to shut him down. Hmm. And that would be rolling Eritage to just do straight damage. Yeah. And so the number of successes you get on your Eritage roll does double that number of damage. Okay. Uh, that's two. I'm rolling four. I've rolled a one, a five, and a nine, and a seven. Does that mean I have no successes? Um, the target number would have been a six, so I think that's two successes, isn't it? Oh, okay. So they don't cancel each other out. Well, the one cancels no, they, out one they of should. the successes. Oh, okay. I don't one. Know. I missed track. Okay. So you did... just 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 ones cancel out. Yeah, just ones. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I have two successes. Oh, I have one success. Okay. So he he stop it. You start warping his metal frame. Which he just goes, and it doesn't end up damaging him because he gets to soak that. Okay. Well, I still have his bent knife, so maybe I'll use that next round. Now, this is a weird part of the World of Darkness system. You used five dice. If you do another action that would have more than five dice to it, you can still do that thing. I only use four dice. Oh, am I supposed to add my will? will dice. No, you should have rolled five dice for Eritre. Don't you have five in it? No, nope, four. No, take I five. five. I don't care. You have five. Oh, okay. No, everybody should have five. Because it's more fun. Because rolling three dice and sucking at spells sucks in mage. I've got ten. Yeah, that's not the same. Yep, so ten. two points damage. <laughs> well, you said oh. five was not enough. And I added another five to Eritai. So I'm sure I added, there was ten in the I end. I said quintessence, dipshit. Oh, quintessence. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is Eritai and quintessence just sounds the same. I, I, just, just... You're right. <laughs> they're, they're so similar. Okay. They even both start with a Q. Okay. All right. Uh, so, AJ, you did actually do damage to him. Um, he, uh, a couple of ends of metal cable pop out of his flesh and spark. That looks like, impressive. It does. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you can still do other stuff if you have more than five dice in a different dice pool. Like, if your attacking would be six dice, you can roll one now because you've used five. Or you can just skip that rule and we'll go to the next person. Yeah, mm, yeah. All right. I know. I thought that might not be something we do today. That's cool. I hadn't thought of anything else to do. So. Okay. 
Um, I believe next was Wally. Is that right? I wasn't 12. Wasn't there somebody else that was 12? No, you were, you were 11, I was 12. Oh, you were 12. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So I would like to, um, um, can I slow down um, time to the point where I can um, hide? I want to, I want to stealth. I'm stealth. Hmm. Um, with time, you can take away other people's actions, too, or make them repeat the same thing. So you could target the guard and I see make him not do anything next time. I see what you're saying. Um, if, can I, can I give can. my... If I can do stuff with time, then, can I uh, rewind so I have my crowbar again and try to throw it again? Uh, <laughs> at your level, you can rewind one round. I think that was mm. round before that, wasn't okay. it? Okay. Or what was it last round? Was it last, last round? round? Last, last round, round, yeah. yeah. Okay, yes, you can rewind time and get your fucking crowbar back. Sweet. Um, do I have to throw it? Can I just run at it? I wanna, I just, now that I've seen the red eye, I just want to gouge him in the eye. Um, you have to roll irritate to see if you get at least one success to get your crowbar back. Because oh, you're still okay, okay, rewriting okay, okay. time. I see. So roll the five. You, hold, hold and the you can use a point of willpower because this game doesn't last long and you have a lot of willpower points. Use the fucking willpower. <laughs> Well, let's go with my roll first because I have a nine and a seven, um, and no ones. That's fine. One success was all you needed, so you rewind okay. time and okay, you like have a crowbar again. I, I have my crowbar. Sweet, it's... I got it. And then I want to, uh, <laughs> I want to go after old Red Eye. <laughs> okay, um, that would be melee plus brawl, uh, plus uh, sorry, melee plus uh, strength. Hmm. Maybe I should just throw it again. Can I throw it with my dexterity? No? Okay. Wait, do you not have melee? Uh, I have, yeah, I have four melee, but I have one in strength. As opposed to five in dex. What's your... Okay, so your dex is for stealth and around. Maybe you yeah. wanted to have a higher strength because you wanted to hit shit? Okay. So... Yeah. Stop it. Okay, don't well, don't make a character like me. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going melee. I'm just You're gonna not go after him. Yeah. I'm just gonna go after him. Um, I got a seven. Right. Okay, you actually hit him. So uh, the the damage is strength plus one. Let's say it's two because it's a crowbar. It's heavy iron. Okay. So uh, roll your strength plus two more dice, and that's how many damage he takes. The strength plus two more dice would be eighteen. Because I rolled nine and an eight, which is seventeen, and my strength is one. Right? No. The target number is going to be a six, though. Oh, gotcha. Uh, a nine and... Uh, uh, my strength, I would have rolled a, a nine or an eight. <laughs> I'll take one of those and not re-roll. <laughs> okay, plus the two for the crowbar. So did you roll the total three dice? I'm oh. confused. Uh, three. So nine, eight, and three. Okay. So you do two wounds, smashing upside the eye with the crowbar. <laughs> Yes, and I give it a little. When it's in and there, you rip flesh off, and you reveal that it's just a red cranium, or sorry, a metal cranium with a big red eye. Nice, nice. And then I say, "Where's Sarah Connor?" <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of junk going um, on here. Bye. If anybody's watching, these are not technically Terminators. The hit mark, they're hit mark fives, but it's the same fucking thing. It's a Terminator. There's really Terminators? I thought you were just making yeah, this shit up. Yeah, hit mark five. Nope. Okay. I passed my turn because I just got to digest that for a bit. <laughs> All right. My towels get yeah. into action and crank that it would up. Be, uh, strength plus either brawl or martial arts. Or well, martial arts. martial arts, mate. Uh, that's, that's my thing. Martial arts. Strength okay. and that. So I got to roll too many fucking dice for that one. Sorry, buddy. Your channel's gonna go yellow again on the. Um... I already, I already, I already dropped the f bomb, man. We're good. And okay, just... all right. Let's try. Let's try this. There's so many dice here. What did I have to get to, to be a successful? Oh, uh, sixes again. Same as him. Same. Okay. Okay. That looks like it's a success. Uh, that's a success. There's no ones. Yeehaw! So I got five successes damn well done well i um, rolled nine dice 
he loses consciousness. You realize this guy isn't a robot, just the other one is. Um, so he like slumps to the ground. Okay. Awesome. Lenny, you got any rope? <clears throat> he holds his wallet out. Never mind. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay, so the other dude still gets a turn. He's just gonna try to punch Steel in the face. You can try. Wow, it's amazing when you roll 10 dice and, and almost one. everything fails. Yeah, so like tell me about stamina. it. Um, all right, so it he gets two successes. You can uh, deflect it with dexterity plus um, your athletics, or just take the damage and soak it. I'll soak it. Okay, then roll the uh, stamina plus armor, so at least eight dice, I think it was. Yeah, uh, I've got five stamina and four armor. Jesus. Okay, roll 96. <laughs> okay. And it's sixes again. Dun, dun, dun. And intermission as we wait for the dice rolling to occur. That is Please. a total of two successes. That's fine. It, you soak it. He punches you in the chest and you just don't even move. <laughs> Steel. I say just steal. <laughs> he has no emotion. He just looks like he's going to punch you again. Like, this is simple for him. I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then it's AJ's turn. It's yeah. Turn. I'll punch him back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go away. Three and. Magically punching him with a force. The force is with Ooh, you. God Almighty! Uh, that is one, two, three, five, six successes. Oh. Did you add your? Uh, did you roll Erite in addition to the attack? Okay. Yeah. And all five dice. Okay. Good. Um, how many successes? I'll just put my arm through his chest cavity. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what happened. Electric, his electric heart. Just... There is a giant asshole in him now. So, yes, he takes six lo wound levels, and he's not technically dead, but he's at, like, negative five to all of his actions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you can... did you need this? It looks important. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at it and, like, recognizes what it is and just stands there, like, ready to attack you again, sort of. <laughs> They're not creative thinkers. This is not going to work out well for you, Toaster. <laughs> toaster. <laughs> um, Wally, do you want to like summon another crowbar? <laughs> um, I, I'm fine with just going and picking mine up. Um, you don't need to. Isn't it stuck in the eye of the? Uh, oh, that's right. The, I was scouting. Oh no, actually. Yeah. Can you hold it? Yeah, you're still holding it. Go yeah, on. yeah. I remember oh I suck at my leg. I did get the hell out of the way when uh, Steel. What you know, assuming we're working on the same guy, um, I got the hell yeah, out of the way well, when he's all that should happen. Yeah, um, yeah. If there's anything left to do, I want to. I want to. I want to batter up with this crowbar and just you know clobber the guy in the head. Okay. Now we're, we're just going brute force now. Brute force. Okay. I'm stealthy and I failed at it, so now I'm just nothing but anger. Uh, I have five dice, four for melee, one for strength. Is that correct? Um, not necessarily. Can you tell me what spheres you have? At at least two. Uh, forces, mind, and time. Yeah, you can add uh your number of okay. How many points are in forces? Two. Two. Okay, so instead of rolling the five dice, roll seven dice because you're adding additional force with just kinetic energy to your deck. Okay, that sounds good. I knew it was with me the entire time. The force. Yeah. 
Yeah, fourth was with you. Uh, anybody no. who wants. Ooh, oh, God, you rolling that bad again. No ones. I have four sixes. Willpower, willpower, add willpower. And a willpower? All right. Sure. I don't so know that, what success was. It's but... just another automatic success. So you got five successes to hit. Yes. Okay. So then he's not deflecting. Uh, you, because he can't, um, you take the successes beyond the first one. So four, and add that to your damage. So it's four dice that you roll for damage, plus the two of the crowbar, plus your strength number of dice. So a fuck ton of dice. Okay, so my four success, my one strength, and my... Um, two crowbar. Two crowbar. Yeah. Um, ooh, this is no ones. Um, I think this is, this is exactly... This is where I want to be. I want to be in this zone for the rest of the day. This is this this is my happy spot right here. Uh, we've got a ten, a ten, a nine, an eight, an eight, a seven, and a three. You destroy him. Finish him. Oh my god! It's crowbar, man. I told yeah, he you. Yeah, he flies apart. You just yeah. disintegrate yeah. him. You He's wondered why I went after it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. He's like a baseball bat. Knock him in half. Just disassemb <laughs> disassembled. Yes, this is my zone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he hits the ground. Um, and he's leaking like coolant and what would be bodily fluids all over the ground. Mm. We turn slowly to the human guard. You can't. He's passed out. No, he's not conscious. Oh, oh. I, I um, I drag his Wait. body in to the door so he's not left outside oh. and, and look for a cupboard inside somewhere to shove him. I'm just saying that's so intimidating. We could probably intimidate him even though he's unconscious. But there's no point if he's unconscious. Well, I'm just saying, you okay. have scary dreams. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Percent, we we should we should put the uh the the, uh, the the destroyed droid on top of him so when he wakes up it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's this face. Yeah. What, next sure. Time? Put like 500 pounds of metal on top put of him. A, yeah. No, I'll turn some of the guard into a blanket and then just put a blanket over top of him with the guard's head next to him. <laughs> Mafia style. Sure, why not? Okay. He's a, <laughs> a robot blanket. Yeah. We don't just break into the building. We leave them nightmares. Mm. You should make it a Perplexing, robe. Perplexing, confusing nightmares. You should make it a robe, and that'll be our like our our. Uh, <laughs> our <Sunday. laughs> well, when when people That's mess funny. with us, they will, they will the God up wakes up with a many pity. Tell me to tell. <laughs> Smelling like lavender. What? <laughs> Actually, we only have what a couple lavenders left. So. Okay? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a million bucks. All right. Looking around now that we're inside this this warehouse, this building. What do we see? Close uh, the door. You do notice that the droid, the the drones, are circling back around, so they're heading toward your position. Okay. So yeah, there's no other guards here though. All right, we're closing the door. And we're inside and having a look around to see what we've got to deal with. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got a hallway ahead of you with a glass door at the very end and two doors along the way, one on the left, one on the right, that have little red lights on key card readers. No I'm sorry, there's also a hallway to the right to exit the building. No security cameras? I forgot about those. Yes, there's security cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm, I want to take out the security cameras. Mother. Thank you. Did you say you want to take out a camera? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> then you have, like, stuff. I know you're going to just roll Airtane no matter what the hell the sphere is, so go ahead. And it will fail. You need one success. Okay. There happened to be a short circuit in that camera, and it just shuts off. Right. <clears throat> Do we think that there's any sort of um, laser beam detectors that might trigger if we walk through and we haven't deactivated a, the doory thingy or the corridor with a pass um, card or something? We're good. Anybody who has forces could automatically know that those are not in the hallway. We're good. I have two forces. Good. And there is one more camera at the end of the hall. 
it wouldn't see you unless you got to the right hand door. Take that one out. Okay. Nobody's gonna notice. It's two successes. Oh, okay. Well, same thing. That one just fiddles out. Mm -hmm. Stops moving. So now we have a glass door in front of us and two doors left and right with key card readers. Yes, Mr. Puzzle Man. Right. I heard you get your Puzzle Man voice on. <laughs> uh, so uh, so what is through the glass? What Can, can I go up and... <laughs> nice sound effect. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, inside, you see a clean room with a fuckload of technicians working. There don't seem to be any guards. Just people in white suits on two different halls of, uh, like, they, they have computer workstations and big glass tanks that they're working with. Uh, Roll perception, if you would, please. I don't think it's, I don't know, it is actually alertness again. This is used a lot. Alertness, alertness. with perception? Yeah. That's a that's a that's a lot of dice for me. I just want you to know that up front. Oh, um, zero and one cancel out. Uh, but I still have a zero a zero seven seven. Okay, you see that there are partially completed human exoskeletons in each of the tanks that you can see. So it looks like they are working on a fusion of human and machine. Um, yeah, oh. I'll relay that to you guys. Oh, I figured it out. It's a Terminator factory. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, do they look like they have seen us through the window? No. Like I said, there don't see, there don't seem to be any guards in that room, yeah. and all the technicians are busy. Right. Okay. Right. So, uh, do we do we want to deal with the technicians first, or do we want to deal with the two doors with the um, um, security locks? On them? Go back well, to. We're not here for. Security. Uh, we're not here for technicians. We're here for a child. Uh, go back to uh, uh, the two guys. Are the guy that's knocked out? Does he have any um, uh, cards on him? Uh, search. Oh, I can just turn the card reader into cheese. Or that. <laughs> but let's if it's like easy, the... if it's like easy cheese, maybe he's got a few crackers or something. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's look at the key. Magic. Actually, the I'll key just turn it into styrofoam so that it it's um, it'll break easily, but it looks the same. Hmm. Okay, so obviously that was just a prop the whole time. They just put that there to deter thieves. Mm -hmm. So you just take that off. The card I'm reader that is way a prop. because then it's coincidental magic. You don't like cause ripples, ripples in the fabric of reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like peel, peel off the wall the sticker that is actually the uh, the keypad. Like, there is no keypad. Oh, I love it. Is this the the left, left side or the right side you're doing? Both. Oh, the left side is closer to you. The right side is further away. Okay, so it's the left. <laughs> Always good. Takes a few moments. Left. Left's fine. All right. Okay. So we're going left. Let's have a look inside. So you're opening the door there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm opening the door if he doesn't. Yeah. Let's open the door. Okay. Normally, um, I don't cause these sort of anomalies, but I imagine that I've got a license to l limit reality disruption while we're on this ca case. Yes, you you have perfect authorization. <laughs> um, so, does anybody have? Um, okay, if anybody has life, uh, you would be able to see before the door is opened that there are six life forms in there that are like barely registering as life, which probably means that they're either like people dying or they could be men in black. So I'm well, saying that before you open the door. Well, I have three life. And I will tell them that there are life forms, six life forms in there that are barely picking up. So they're either dead, or they're uh, they're they're probably terminators. I would imagine robots, men, men in black terminators, thingies, those things because they're mostly terminators not alive. don't register life. So it would have to be something that's technically alive, which would be oh, okay. the guy that you put uh, that you put in a headlock. Okay. He would register, but he would also register vibrantly. So that's why I said it's probably the men in black because they're mostly lifeless. Right. Okay. So, men, men in black or dead people? I'll start dead calling people. out letters A, B, C, D. Never mind. Okay. A, B, C, D. Are we opening this door or not? 
Let's, let's open it. The, the the letters, men in black, they always have a letter. J and K. Yeah, the... we know. Okay. <laughs> the door is open. Okay, you open the door. There are... <sighs> there is what is like a stereotypical crazy old doctor operating on a very healthy looking uh like seven foot tall beautiful woman who is super muscular and there are six men in black around them and all six men in black turn with you with hive mind all at once and pull their weapons okay shut the door Ooh. shut the door shut the door <laughs> um i'm gonna what is the illumination in this room uh super bright on the table besides that barely anything hmm so there's like a single light bulb type thing? It's more like five right over the table. Okay. Can I change them to um, being completely opaque so that I basically shut the light off? Yes. Yes. None of these people are sleepers. So uh, wait, we need to roll initiative, though, to see if you guys can act before they do. Okay. okay. Um, um, and and describe, so again, to, a... describe to me again the uh, um, the two. It's a doctor and who else? A seven foot tall, you said? Yeah, a seven foot tall woman being operated on, and she's super muscular. Like, she's like it, the heavy lifting champ. And she's she like home. out of it, right? Yeah, she's okay. unconscious. Okay. Initiative. Um, so it's a D10 plus your wits number plus your alert alertness number, and just tell me the one number you got. Alertness plus oh. wits plus a D10. Eleven. Dum dum dum. Did you say eleven? I said eleven. Okay. How do we figure that out again? Uh, add your, nine. Yeah, wit, add your wits, your alert, and then roll a d10. Oh. Uh, it's a 1d10. Gotcha. Ooh, still good. 9, 10, 11, 12, 17. All right. 17. Frankie. You definitely go first. I want to try to hide in the shadows. I kind of just want to just disappear. I want to stealth up. I want to stealth up on the dock. You could shut the door instead. <laughs> What's wrong with the door? I can shut the door. It's open. You just close the door. The open. There are enemies. You could shut oh. the door because you're the only oh, one. Oh, we're not going fighting first. these guys? I like look back over my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hide in shadows, the door slams closed. Yes. <laughs> yes, so that they don't know you're who welcome. shut it. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Yes. Do I stealth roll that so it looks like no? Hey, you can just take care of that for me. That's the thing. <laughs> sure, you can roll stealth to see how well you're hiding. Yeah. Right, one, two, three. Uh, so it'd be the dexterity plus stealth. Oh, I get dexterity with that. Oh, that's broken. Yeah, that's broken. He's like, hiding in shadows. You just heard my voice cut off behind the closed soundproof door. Oh no. Yeah, I got, I got, an, I got two eights, a seven, a six, a six. That's it. Eight, eight. Oh. Jesus, ten. that's like better than humanly possible. Ten, eight, you seven, just... six, six. Yeah. I will okay. remind you guys that we have no lock on the door now. <laughs> I put my but crowbar the... into it. That's right. We do have a lock because you can put a lock on there. I strike and weld it. Yeah. Yeah. You Make are done cheese. with your turn, sir. You have closed the door and gone invisible. Okay. Yeah. I've done that. Did so my then the next person is. Um, the doctor who is ranting loudly doesn't matter. So next is Fred. Okay. All right. So the, the door is closed in front of me, and he's closed the door, and 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 the room is now dark. Um, can I find the sticker that he ripped off that we used to be the? The room is the, not dark because we hadn't rolled initiative yet. I have not done an action. Oh, you haven't done anything yet. No. No. Well. The, the door is closed, right? If, if Wally closed the door, then the door is closed, but I haven't done anything. Yeah. So instead, what I will do is I'll look for the ripped off sticker that was the um, the control panel that he tore off, and um, I'm going to stick it back in place. 
Okay. <laughs> and is is there any way of <laughs> is there any is there any way of like um crossing out the unlock button on it? Yeah, the yeah, there can be an open <laughs> an open symbol on the sticker. It could be anything you like. Just could be open, or, close on the sticker, and you close, can hit yes. the open, open and I'll and make close. it. Like you, I'll make it work. You can put I it wanna... on the way as we're headed out. You can put it on there, and then we close the door, and then they have to have a key card to go through. But just a no universal, just a universal sticker that operates <laughs> like a key card. So, so I just want to, yeah, I just want to stick it back on, and then I just want to cross out the um, open um, button. Okay, so basically a lock that can't be opened. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> all right, if you have at least matter two, roll Arate, and you're basically going to do it. Meta. Uh, yeah. Meta, I have no meta. It's then you can do that. Yeah, all right, but I will stick I can it do back that. on the door. I can stick it back on the door anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see what your intentions are, and I follow yeah. through with it yeah, and with and the I, magic. I, 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 I will wander over to the other door, because this way things can get more complicated. Um, since yeah. Okay, all of doing all of those things takes one die of your dice pool so you can still do something else even something magical if you want to sure. it's just well, gonna be a little bit harder because you were didn't, busy didn't you didn't you actually um turn the other um keypad into a sticker that could be ripped off i'll rip mm. that one off now a sticker sticker on one and a rip off the other one and right open the door <laughs> okay <If> I, can. <laughs> I don't know neat trick <laughs> that's so fucking weird <laughs> that, that'd be a great wondrous item just like a, a doorknob that you can just stick on the side of the thing and just J open Jake, the door like it's yeah jake has only just realized and he's picked one of the most versatile games under the sun that's actually quite hard to dm or game master for <laughs> and he's decided to try to do it with me wally and aj and <laughs> thought that this would not cause problems and i can assure you it will <laughs> i didn't know it was caught i didn't know it would cause problems but i didn't know you guys would be creative and i was looking forward to this creative. this is just not exactly what i expected <laughs> um okay so fred took his turn and then aj is next the men in black actually went last i rolled shoot um, well, I'm just basically following up on Fred's thingy because I'm providing the, ma the magic for his stickers. Okay. Do you have to roll again? Five air Um, You can use a point of willpower again. Um, if you ever fail a roll of magic, you can attract a spirit or hurt yourself, so it's always good to try your best to succeed at every magic roll. What you just said is the opposite of making me want... The opposite of what? No, what? no. I could summon a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to summon a ghost. Now, don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you meant. No, uh, I meant a spirit that is specifically trying to kill you. Yeah, that was a particularly bad roll. I made no successes. Even with using one willpower. Isn't that an automatic success, a willpower? No, I rolled yeah, three. Yeah, but you can take away from it. I rolled the uh, ones that took away from my successes. <laughs> you ended up even. There are no ones left over. Um, there is one win left over. Yes, I got a negative. After negating successes? Mm. I rolled a eight, a three, a ten, a one, a one, and a one. <laughs> okay, well, you botched, so the magic explodes in your face, and you take damage. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> Stupid um, stick of magic. Of course it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, you take two levels of wounds that you can only soak with life. I think life is the only option you would have with this. It's not just stamina. It's basically okay. energy is exploding from your cells. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm I'm injured. Okay, that's rough. It also hurts when you pee when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be walking with a a limp. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ow. I didn't I didn't bring a product with me. Not 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 one the right size, so that's not gonna help. Well, the good news is is that the doors don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> The bad oh, news is, is that they're just open. 
So if the bad guys come out of the room, they just have to figure out that the doors actually will just open. Hmm. I can weld the doors closed for next round, not this one. Um, the that really sucks. So the door opens and three men in black stand at the entrance and start shooting. One of which seems to exist at two locations, one behind your group, shooting the same person as its copy. And so the other three that can't get close enough to shoot, um, well, shit. Don't tell me they throw crowbars. I guess they'd be trying, <laughs> I guess they'd be trying to rush through you to get into the hallway. Um, so is anybody standing directly in front of the door, like blocking the path? Of course me. do I. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so one of them is going to try and get past. directly into you. Yeah, try it. Uh, so you can roll strength plus athletics to bounce him back off of you. It doesn't matter. He he hits you and stops. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can roll once too. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna rebound anyway. Okay, so now you guys are getting shot. So anybody who doesn't want to get shot should roll dexterity plus athletics to get the hell out of the way. Mm. Max versus zero. <laughs> Got them all. Oh my gosh. So this... What was the number we had to hit? Um, It is six again. Six. This is my best roll. Is... Zero zero oh. zero nine one. I'm sorry, it's not actually six. It's a three because you guys have a wall that you can dive behind. Oh, mm. yeah. Then it's all successes. Three, okay. three success for me then. Five, uh, five success for me. Okay, I, I rolled and three. And I'm going tens. to choose. So none of you take damage from the guys shooting directly into the room, but the copy doesn't have to deal with any cover. So he's going to try to shoot one of you, and I'm going to roll randomly to see who it is. Oh, I'll just take it. I deserve it at this well, point. Well, it's you anyway. <laughs> 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 okay, so you got... Three, six, okay. Wow, he still hits you. Let's see how much. You can roll stamina to soak this, uh, plus any armor that you might have. I don't think you have any. Stamina, stamina, stamina. I have four stamina. One, two, three, four. Where's armor? You would have it written down separately. Oh, I have a robe. Have... I they... from the hotel. It's got, it's got like the <laughs> insignia on the chest. How much of that bloody beer have you drunk so far? Yeah, but it's, <laughs> yeah, but it's got the Bible in the pocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, four stamina. Then. Uh, ooh, nine, 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 four. Jesus! All right, you get shot in the back and take nothing. It's the robe. <laughs> it's the robe. Right. Really good robe. <laughs> I told you this is our uniform. <laughs> These are these are our uh, this is like a Fantastic Four or whatnot. We have like our our symbols on here. <laughs> They're unstable molecules. They shape shift with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's Wally's turn again. Sweet. Did um, I skip AJ? No, no, I didn't skip AJ. Okay. No? All right, I want to crowbar that dude. No, no. Uh, okay, I'm so just so fast on my turns. So, so if, yeah. if I'm understanding correctly, <laughs> we. Uh, we had a room to the left and right. We went to the room to the left, and we're like, eh, eh. and then we came back out. We're in the main room now, and and the men in black home. are yeah. coming after us. Um, can we yeah. get through the door on the right? That's where the echo guy is at, right? Did I rem did I do that correctly? Um, the, the, the echo guy is just in the hall randomly. He's not like in front of that door. Okay. So yeah, you can try to get through that door, or you can try to seal off this door because all the men in black core source are still in that room. Yeah, I want to seal yeah. that door off. Um, are you going to do it? Okay. Or, well, no, you can do it if you'd like. Um, I, uh, what about, so, so the, 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 the dude that hit me, I just, I just want to nail him with a crowbar. 
They're okay. Perfectly they natural the the crowbar. <laughs> Is that uh, uh strength and melee? Uh yes. Okay. Ooh. Um those cancel out, so I got a I got uh a seven of four to three. I'll use another willpower if I can. Uh, yeah, you could. That would be two successes. Yep. So for damage, you roll basically the same thing again. So it's your strength numbers or strength dots plus two for the crowbar plus one for the success. Okay, so one minus the roll. And he soaks two of it. Ooh, there's. Oh, I had a ten, and the one canceled it out. I I, I rolled a ten, a five, a four, and a one. You, technically, you hit him. I don't know. It bounces off his skull. Maybe he's got a metal plate. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I look dumbfounded. Uh, that was 17. Fred. Fred. You're... Well, okay, okay. The doctor inside. Oh, that's right. Hold on. The doctor can actually say something now. Uh, he says, Enemy! Pop! Kill them! And the lady on the table rises up as if she's like a zombie or a golem or something and she isn't clothed but she starts charging you guys did you just never mind yes you just put a seven foot tall naked woman in the in the adventure yeah yeah okay very appropriate yeah we gotta I get that her staying unconscious but yeah well yeah. that's AI on the other question yeah um <laughs> so so question i am in front of the other door that i had opened and there are that door in position to from where I am, am where is everything else? And is there anything in the raw room that I opened <laughs> that I need to know about? Oh, you actually took an action to open it? I thought you just fucked with the sticker thing. I'm sorry. No, so I, did, I did the sticker. I did the sticker. And if I had more action, I opened the door as well. Oh, um, no shit. Good. Okay. So, yeah, you open the door and there's. Uh, your contact kneeling in front of um, this uh, little, like, I don't know, six-year-old Chinese-looking boy boy sitting in a chair. And the, the, the boy is facing away from the door. And so Jacob is facing toward you. And he looks like he just has this look of um, awe on his face, like, this is my god. Okay, so murder deck. Who? Me? No. Deck. Huh? I'm Dak. Dak, the, the, no, oh, your Dak? I thought uh, yeah. the... Jacob the, the is the, the vampire. The, oh, Jacob. Yeah, the kid was never oh. named. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I will just say, Oi, stop screwing around. It's time to leave. <laughs> get the door is open. We're going. Lenny, get and, the car ready. Yeah. And <laughs> so, so after saying that, I'm hoping that Jacob and the, the kid, because I'm figuring this is the golden child, <laughs> um, uh, get the message, and I'm going to turn my attention to the closest men in black. Can I get to them to do something? Yeah, the, well, the closest one is directly in front of whoever was blocking the door. I think it was AJ. Mm. Okay, that's the closest one? Yeah. that that's, that's the one. Can I get to them to be able to do anything? Yeah. I mean, you can, like, target shit for your friend. I, I mean... I mean, if I can't get to them, I'm just going to throw my can of sardines at them. So, okay, so so you need to make it clear. Can I get to them to do something? Otherwise, yes, okay. yes, you can. Okay, you can shove sardines down their throat if you like. Well, I mean, if I don't need to see, need the sardines right now, I'll leave save them for later on. But anyway, so if I can get to them, it's it's time for a flying kick. We're going all kung fu down down on this. this. Okay, that, Everybody that was kung kind of fu fighting over the top <laughs> and that through the doorway. Bum, 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 and hopefully bum, not bum, hit my bum. head on the top of the door frame and, and hit this guy. Uh, that's what I'm doing. What am I rolling? Okay. Uh, dexterity plus your martial arts. Dex and martial arts. Got him. You're going to spend a point of willpower? Uh, yes. Spend it. I haven't used any. Use I haven't it. used any. Can I use more than one? I've Just used one. 12, so. No. No, just one. Okay, I use some willpower. So that's that's definitely going to be a success plus whatever the heck. Oh, look at all the ones. Oh uh, gosh, damn it! <laughs> what 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 uh, what what was the target number, baby? 
Oh, uh, five. One. Five? One. <laughs> One. <laughs> five. Five. Welcome five. to Mage the Ascension, where the points don't matter. Five. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six successes. Fuck. Okay, so it's a martial arts flying kick. It's going to do your strength number of dice plus the additional five that you didn't need to be able to hit him plus an additional three. Roll a fuck ton of dice. So, so for my strength dice... Additional three dice, and what was the other dice? Six dice from the um, from the da damage. Is that what you're saying? Five more. Not five six. more. Five. Okay. Five more. Five more dice. Okay. From the. Okay. Here we go. We're rolling. This is insane. <laughs> okay. So, um, what am I? What was my target number? Six again. Six again. Okay. You're not my friend. You are my friend. Look at you. Look, you are a six. Uh, no, that's... Oh, shit. That lost to one of those. So Bye-bye for you. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Nah. Six, right? Uh, yes, yes. And yes. Three. Three successes. All right. Well, he didn't soak it. So, like, you, you kicked him and he reels back. Okay. You did three wounds. Well done. Cool. That's Dude, me. I'm done. I was expecting you to kill him. That was a lot of dice. Yeah, but I rolled a one, and then I rolled a lot of numbers under six. Okay. It had to happen so... eventually. No, it didn't. No. It's a random chance. It didn't have to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm done. Um. Okay. Hold on. I have to roll something. Pause there in initiative because AJ will go in a moment, but first, Jacob and the kid go, and they get out into the hallway, and the kid looks totally confused, and J Jacob is just like, this way, I'm gonna go. And uh, so they're walking down the hallway as fast as Jacob can make him run, mm -hmm. so I guess they get to the, the, the exit door at this point. As they pass, three, six. You guys hear a creaking thunk right above the door to the room with the men in black in it, and the ceiling falls on AJ. What? Hmm. Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would, you need to roll some stamina. You need to soak at least four wounds. Jesus Christ, you're already wounded. Let's stop. What? Well, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five stamina. Um, does anybody have entropy at at least one? Entropy at least one. Ooh, ooh, no, ooh, probably ooh. not. I have entropy at three. Oh, okay. Well, then, as the kid passed, you saw lashes of entrop entropic magic hit the ceiling up, uh, right in front of the door. Mm -hmm. So, basically, the kid destabilized the ceiling and made it decay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, whoopsies. Um, that kid's uh, like a walking, um, um, <laughs> collapsing nightmare. <laughs> Might have to hit him with my crowbar, <laughs> ain't I? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, AJ. How many successes did you get at six? Can I throw in a willpower with that? Not on soak rolls. Oh, okay. Um, I've got two, two. I soaked two. Okay, so you took two. Yeah. Um, but you step back in that process, and now there is a shitload of metal and rock in front of the door. You can barely see into it and see the tops of the men in black's heads. Right. I am officially mauled. So I got minus two on my rolls. Mauled by a little boy. Yeah. Well, mauled by a ceiling. I am so sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, it Still gets is, up. Um, his his it suit is AJ's turn. His suit is uh, immaculate. 
Uh, I no longer need to lock the door, do I, if the ceiling is... Uh, <laughs> no, I, think, I think we're all good. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so is there anything blocking the exit of the child from the building at no. this point? Okay. Maybe Lenny? <laughs> I, I hollered um, for him, so it's a possibility. Um, uh, Get him out! Get him out! Yeah, I basically just... just just uh, open the, cause all the doors to open in front of them on the way to the the, the Nissan outside. Okay. Um, I want you to roll your perception plus alertness, and I'm hand waving the roll. You open all the doors. It's fine. It's a very simple okay. thing. Um, where am I rolling? Perception plus alertness, please. It's a game system we need where you have to roll a dice to open a door <laughs> so that's four successes okay um uh so <laughs> you like happen to notice as you were not dying that in the room that the kid came from there is a t1000 rising from the floor the 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 Hmm. Stop worrying. Can I solidify the floor? That's interesting. Hadn't thought of that. Yes, you just yeah. Roll Arate. You're basically trying to lock him in that form. Yeah, because it says on my cheat sheet here I can make spikes or grasping hands erupt from the ground, walls, or ceiling. So I figure I can solidify well, the floor. Because he's all matter, though, you could just make him not be able to reshape. Oh, yeah. How about a bit of anti-CRC? What? CRC? <laughs> CRC? You don't have CRC in the States? <laughs> oh, the cultural divide. Some some of the states Oh, my do. God. I, that's our version of duct tape. It's just like if it's jammed, mm. spray some CRC on it. Oh. We're not, not turning CRC. Well, that's right. We call it 100 mile an hour tape. You probably call it WD 40 or something. Mm. Oh, WD 40. That's just, that's just oil. Mm. CRC is yeah. like a uh, fish oil solvent. Interesting. Mm. Right. I want to order this now. <laughs> is it six or seven? What's the uh, what? number? Uh, what? what number am I rolling? Oh, oh, oh. um, this is a seven, uh, okay. and you're gonna use a point of willpower. Uh, I got four successes. No failures. Okay, uh, he stops reforming, and you just hear this <laughs> metallic groaning, like he's trying to break out of this form ceiling magic. He I might sort of... succeed eventually. Squint down at them after like dusting bits of ceiling off my head. Does do you experience pain? I imagine that's uncomfortable. You see like a mouth go. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Interesting. Notes down on clipboard. <laughs> Still got my clipboard. Oh, fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, the men in black would go, but they're not magic like you guys. They can't just, like, poof shit out of the way. But they can perform conjunctive magics. Okay, so because of time, I'm saying this is over. Theoretically, they could, like, multiply themselves into the hallway and still shoot you on the way out to the car. So I guess I'll say that that happens, and you guys run from gunfire out of the building, and you get to the car, and Lenny says, Lenny says, a fun cheeseburger! Mm. And... Dude, coffee. I gave him coffee. I want to speed up time holding, for Lenny. He's holding a dry McDonald's cheeseburger he found under the seat. That's, that's good. I, I, I push him out of the driver's seat and um, wait for everybody to load up into the car and drive off uh, in the, the Uber Eats in the sand. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Make sure um, you activate Jacob. the light on the top. Like right okay, okay. Uh, Jacob slides shadowly into the trunk so that he can be with you guys because he's going to get killed if not okay. yay well yay. done did we win 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we succeed in our our mission, yes. Yes, you basically unlocked doors to get him out and distracted bad guys long enough to let him escape. So, yes. Okay. We just won Mage the Ascension. Very good. Yes, that's right. (laughs) Quite quite efficient, despite everything we said or did. Yes. (laughs) Or rolled. Yeah. Or rolled. Or didn't. (laughs) Oh, my. Yes. Nice job, man. Did anybody get hurt besides AJ? No. No, 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 no! I'm fine. Fine. I'm, I'm, I'm in a robe. That's I'm right. The indestructible guy named Steel got was the only one that was seriously injured. You're mauled. God, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Still wearing a per- immaculate suit, like that'll that'll buff right <laughs> out. That'll buff right out. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 <laughs> the only way you can tell us is like he's slightly scuffed. He's got a bit of smudge there, and his his one eye is half closed. I, I know a dry cleaner that'll take care of that. Oh, jolly good. If if any of you have life magic at at least two, you can heal him after a few minutes. Oh, did you say life? Life. That's yeah. you. Life. Life. I have uh, three life. Mm. You can even, like, lay on hands in the car if you want. Sure. Mm. Sure. While I'm driving. Like this. Mm. <laughs> That's all right, buddy. I'm behind. <laughs> Sorry. Oh wait! Yeah. Oh, for we're everybody who drives where, on the other side, you? where are there you? Go. Go. There, gotcha, gotcha. All right, okay. Just put That's my fantastic. hand on your wound. I look perfect, but one nipple is like two inches in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody'll notice. Awesome. All right. Thanks, well, man. Yeah. Well done, Jake. Yeah, well done on the. That on was running freaking the fun. I'm glad yeah. you guys did this with me. Your creativity is off the wall. You did, you did good. I still don't understand the game system, but it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't um, understand the game system either, and I had a good time. Yes. Um, that was good. It, it was a bit slow, warping, warm, warming up, uh, obviously, to, to to the actual um, adventure itself. But we, we it's did their fault. Eventually. <laughs> it is. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was, you know, and we had a lot of failures along the way, even though we were rolling mm-hmm. so many dice. So it's going to happen, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, don't know I am surprised say. that you guys actually accomplished the mission because I didn't like try to prepare the mission depending on your skills. I'm just like, I don't know. They're in some mm. sort of in- installation of military badness. No. I, I I think a game works uh, well like this for somebody that um, that knows how to run it. Um, I think he did really good as far as, uh, you know, just telling us what to roll. And we were just like, okay, find that. Okay, I roll this many dice and I got to beat this yeah, number. I was so basically I, just the book. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, you did a lot more than that, of course, too. But um, I, I think that was perfect for people learning how to play it. Um, I, I felt going into this game, uh, I was looking at this sheet. And in fact, I, I messaged you. I was just like, where do I put the rest of my dots? You're like, hey, you should probably put them here, 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 and here, uh, which I did. Um, made no sense to me at the beginning of this game. But as the game started to uh, progress, um, and then I could see how they were used. I could see that, um, mm-hmm. okay, maybe uh, throwing my crowbar isn't such a great idea um, because I don't get as many dice. And it, it was neat to see it come together, how you would set a target uh, DC and how, how it actually played out with, like, the D10s, with the with the ones canceling mm-hmm. out uh, successes and, and success on successes, I guess, how many successes you get, so... Um, it's at least fun to roll a bunch of dice yeah. in the system. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was cool. I got all my D tens out, so so I think you did a a, a really good job there as far as uh, uh, not only leading us through the adventures, but I got a little bit uh, better understanding as we progress. So, oh, that's what that makes sense. This is you know, so well done. All right, well, you get the most experience points because you're sucking up, so that's good. It's just feedback. You get five, everybody hey, else I made trash pizza. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope, no, nope. just just feedback from somebody that's never played this game and just like, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, mm. I'm glad you had fun. That was really the point because the mechanics have to be there so that mm-hmm. there's some sort of randomness or balance or people have interactions. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty much all based on I want to do this thing. Okay, you do it. Yeah. Well, or in this in this case, you want to do this thing, you fail. <laughs> oh, I'm so looking forward to our super atomic game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You're gonna you're gonna see it. You're gonna see a game designed for exactly what we just did. <laughs> oh, should we? That well, is exciting. Wally, yes. should we? Should we tell him? So I I had a good time. I was actually. I mean, I'm amazed that on my character still alive because usually I go out of my way to get myself killed quite yeah. quite quite at least you know just near the end mm-hmm. at, at least mm-hmm. usually there's a character's gonna die. 
<clears throat> should we tell them what we're going to be doing in the next couple of months, um, Wally? Or should we? Yeah, yeah, uh, go for it. Mm-hmm. So we, 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 made, we made a decision. We made an executive decision, myself, Wally, and AJ uh, mm-hmm. made a decision that we're, we're going to do Dagger Heart for, mm-hmm. was it next fortnight? I think Mark's mm-hmm. going to do Dagger Heart. Mark's going to lead us through it, yep. Uh, yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Character creation, kind of. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It's kind mm-hmm. of a kind of a creation of characters, but mm-hmm. not, not completely. And then a one shot after that, which would be about a month from now. And mm-hmm. then after that, Super Atomic, it's time for AJ to roll it out. Yes. Thank God. I want to see this. Yeah, mm. me too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully, I've just got word that the uh, the graphical user interface on our um, app for character rolling is Ooh. coming along. The guy's learning computer science and he's kind of using it as, as his project, so it's very grassroots. Very cool. Um yeah, but if it goes well um, and uh, and the playtesting is is working well, we've already got added the stuff to add on to the system, um, which sounds complicated, but it's just like, oh, we'll expand the gear points, and that's that'll take care of robotics and cybernetics because nobody wants to do with the point, point boy and budget and all that sort of stuff. It's bullshit. It's mm-hmm. unnecessary. It's like, what sort of uh, character do you want? Okay, do it. You know. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Um, yeah, and after that, it's just adding on uh, magic stuff and alien stuff. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Isn't the magic part going to be super complicated? Some super complicated to add? No. Um, essentially, you just roll on a random table and it gives you the spell abilities type things that you have. And they work just exactly oh. the same as superpowers. It's all descriptive. Oh. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, cool. that's a very simple way to do it. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah, so uh, GM Roundtable uh, every other week or a fortnight uh, for the next uh, month and a half, at, at least, if not more. So yep. tune in. Yeah. Cool. And yeah. I would I would tell you how, what's happening after Super Atomic, but I'm not. No. <laughs> Keep that close. Keep that yeah. close in the robe. That doesn't go too far. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm aiming for infamy with Super Atomic. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I don't want it to be famous. I want it to be infamous. Yeah. Very good. Like right. rules, rules, light systems. Oh yeah. Let me tell you about super atomic. I can't <laughs> believe anybody would pay money for that. They don't. Oh, oh it'll oh, be cool. Shut up. I suppose. All right. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right. Should we get it out of here guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Thank you all for joining us. Yep. Uh, yeah. Thank you to Jake uh, from Wisdom Check for running this game for us. This was Mage the Ascension. Uh, be sure to check out uh, Jake at Wisdom Check, AJ Pickett at AJ Pickett, uh, Fred at How to <laughs> RPG, and uh, this is me, Wally DM, saying uh, thank you for watching and on to the next. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Check out my book. Ah.